run up in your bank just for recreation, dedication, hard work, plus patience. What's going on, on YouTube? This is your boy Hertzberg coming back at you with another video. Today we'll be talking about a beginner bag, what I started with when I first got into paintball. It's okay because you you cutting out the transitions. Yeah. <laughs> Well, the mask that I started off with was actually a JT mask that I actually got from Action Paintball out in Livonia. They have their pro shop in Livonia and their field is out in Taylor. So uh, it's a thermal lens, um, very breathable. So this actually helped out uh, until it was like very, uh, the humidity got real high and then it still ended up getting foggy. So I ended up uh, over time, I actually upgraded. You'll be able to see that in the next video. So, <clears throat> next thing you'll need is your pod pack. I actually got this one, Mad Dog, off of Amazon. Uh, just about all my gear really got off of Amazon, just to start off with. Um, but, I actually got this one, Mad Dog, off Amazon. It had four pods. This is very essential. Uh, a lot of the, some places, depending on which paintball field you actually go to, they do rounds. So the one that I was going to, I needed actual, like literally, I really needed a lot of paint. So I started off with the four pod mag, four pod mag, sorry, that was a blooper, a four pod, uh, holder. And, uh, it's very important that you conserve your paint because some actually do two, three, four rounds. And sometimes you actually might have to go very far to refill your paint. So this is very important for you because a lot of your rental, when you actually, uh, rent your gear, they'll only give you, uh, about 500 balls in your hopper. And then now you're out of paint. So this is very essential. Uh, the next thing we'll go over is the fast load. So basically, oops, sorry, a lot of noise right now. So basically, this actually is a quick feed to refill your hoppers quicker. So you basically throw this tip inside the hot, uh, hot and then you fill it. And now you're ready to go. And then you do that for your next four pods. I think I'm messing up. A little bit. Hold on. So yeah, you'll go back to, and then you'll be ready to go for gameplay. So let's get back into what's actually inside my bag. Move all that Yeah. So going back to my gear bag. I went to Walmart to get a regular book bag. You don't need nothing big or bulky uh, to really just start off, you know, just something to hold all your gear, your change of clothes or, you know, all your little necessities. So starting off, you definitely need a microfiber cloth to wipe off your mask. That way, if you get any paint on your lens, you can actually wipe it off during gameplay, you know, so. That's very essential uh, when you're on the field or even when you're off the field, trying to get yourself set up for the next round. Um, let's see. You need a barrel swap to clean your barrel just in case you have any broken up paint. Um, <clears throat> this is actually a, I believe this one, oh yeah, it's an HK Army uh, barrel swap, double-sided. So if it's a lot of paint on one side, you can just, you know, do the excess clean on the other. I'll show you how that is, how that's done shortly. <clears throat> um, next, I have my hopper. This is not what I started off with was actually um, a gravity hopper. This is an electric hopper. This is actually an electric hopper. And um, I started off once again with the gravity hopper. And this was actually a big upgrade. You know, it's, it fed my balls to my gun very fast. Uh, it was it was very sufficient. Can't complain about this. This is actually a good starter uh, electric hopper. So I definitely recommend you getting a hopper, uh, electric hopper, I'm sorry, as starting out. Because all that shaking is unnecessary. 
I'll get more in depth with that as in another video. So the first gun I ever started off with is called, I'm sorry, I had it around. It's called the Falcon Blackhawk. Um, I got this off of Amazon. Um, <clears throat> I got this off of Amazon for about 250. Uh, they start off at about 130, 140. So it's all based off of like your preference on looks and all that. Um, so this is a mechanical gun. It has a stock. Uh, you also have a charging handle uh, with a foregrip, and it actually comes with uh, it comes with two different barrels, one long and one short. Um, so I have my long one here, and this one, this model that I actually brought, had uh, rails for me to actually put uh, like lights or sights, but I uh, took them off because me and my cousin ended up playing in the streets. So we didn't want the cops thinking we actually had real guns, you know. So just being safe in the neighborhood. Um, <clears throat> eventually, I upgraded the barrel to this Freak XL. Uh, this is it's not an auto cocker. I think it's an A yeah A five barrel. So for this, the threads on here are A five. So if you ever wanted to upgrade your barrel because you didn't like the way the balls was coming out. Definitely make sure you get an A5 uh, thread barrel. And we'll actually get into more detail with that for another video. <clears throat> um, let's move this out the way. Uh, you also would want uh, a tool kit. Um, let's see. Well, let's see, we got the barrel socks. We got extra baddies for our gun and hopper. Well, actually this one is not for this gun, but it's for the hopper. And also, I forgot to mention, I got the hopper from Long Wolf uh, Paintball out in Clinton Township. They have a lot of good gear, so please check them out. They also got a website, longwolfpaintball.com. They got a lot of gear, uh, paintball markers that you might be interested in. And also do your research, you know, Everybody have their own preference, but it's real good to actually have more than just one person or more than just one opinion as far as when you shopping for your gear. <clears throat> um, let's see. Um, also, uh, in my gear bag, I have, oh, here you go, another barrel sock. So I have a harder barrel sock. That's probably inappropriate uh empire barrel sock um that actually came with the marker no yes it came with my marker so moving on to the gloves and then um i started off with the home the gloves from home depot husky brand because they had good patent on them um but as i progressed um i ended up changing my gloves to the actual paintball gloves but we'll get more into depth with that uh for another video so having gloves is very essential just to keep your hands from getting messed up from uh, the paint. <clears throat> and then you also, it is very imperative, very, very imperative that you have your own tank. So um, I started off with the 3000 tank. Um, I was at, the, before I got my own tank, I was renting, uh, my local fields tank for about, I think it was about five or six dollars, uh, for per rent. So eventually I ended up getting my own cause you know, that money has up, but I later realized that it was, um, I was losing a lot of, I was losing a lot of air, but I was using more air. Well, I guess something's the same, right? Yeah. So I was actually running, I was running out of air uh, quicker than I was. So I ended up, than other people. So um, I ended up upgrading my tank, which I actually currently use in my current gear bag. So that'd be another video uh, as far as my current gear bag. Um, <clears throat> so very essential to have a tank. And like I said as well, Going back to the Husky, the Home Depot, you know, get you a 
get you a multi tool. You know, either a multi tool or a set of Allen keys, because every gun is different. You might need uh, one size, or you might need a bigger size. You know, they are. So it's, it's very uh, important for you to have your own tool kit. And then now going to, um, <clears throat> like I said, this is just the beginner bag video. So this was just a beginner bag video. Uh, like I said, I did upgrade my gun over time. So those will actually be, um, that would actually be another video. Here's the gun that I actually upgraded to. So if you wanna see this, please like, share, subscribe, and we'll see you on the next video. Thank you.